Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Raw. Your host, Deju, here with you, and this program is brought to you by THQ. Now, lest your eyes deceive you, and, it, and I'm pretty sure they don't, and I'm pretty sure they're not deceiving you, yes, you have Mankind, Dude Love, and Cactus Jack teaming with each other. I find this hilarious because they're all one and the same guy, and apparently that same guy had all three of his alter egos. It, I guess he must have copied himself twice and had his alter egos come in and fight uh, Ken Shamrock and the big boss man of the corporation and their partner uh, voluntarily wanted to be a part of this match and that being Edge, uh, the guy in the far right. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, you have the three faces of Mick Foley going up against the corporation and Edge. So, yeah, I kind of find this hilarious. I I'm not sure how hilarious you guys think it is, but it, it, it is. So, yeah. But with that said, we'll find out if the three faces of Foley will work together or if it will all come down uh, very hard on them. So we'll find out right now. Okay, so one of the three faces of Foley that's going to begin is Mankind, and it's going to be against Ken Shamrock. A gut buster on a Ken Shamrock. Let me just readjust myself here. Okay, there we go. A takedown and a knee right to the arm of Mankind. Um, of course, as far as Mankind and the corporation are concerned, I mean, he was once a part of the corporation at one point, but... Uh, the leader, Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon, whatever you want to call him, you know, turned on him, and as a result, uh, the feud between him and the corporation had has been ongoing ever since, really. But right now we have the rookie, Edge, and, you know, Edge, he's, like I said, he's, I, I've said this once before, I mean, Edge is raw talent. He's... He's talented. I mean, he's he, he's got the look. He's got the ability. One thing he does not have is the experience. He's not he hasn't been in the ring long enough, you know, to be a major star, but I have a feeling that within the couple within the next couple of years, maybe a half a decade, I'm not sure how long it will take, but I think with by the time, you know, but by the time the next decade comes and goes, I think Edge is going to, you know, be a big, big star when his career is all said and done. I mean, I remember I was once, uh, uh, sorry, I was once his age, you know, at the age of 22 years old. And I remember I was accomplished, yes, in the junior division. I mean, and that was back when we had a lot of juniors. And... A good chunk of them went on to become uh, a a few few of them came came out to be champions, uh, but most of them became champion outside of our company. They they actually became world champion in other companies, but it was because of us. We made you know their dreams come true. In other words, if it wasn't for us, they would not have been champion either here in this company or. Uh, in other companies uh, at the time and that are still here with us today. And because we had a lot of juniors at the time, like the like the late seventies, early eighties, we had a junior we had a junior championship and because we don't have any more juniors, it's mainly because one, there's not a lot of them and number two uh, most of the talent is 
older than the age of uh, 21. Remember, you have to turn 21 to go from being a junior to a pro. I turned pro at number at 21, so uh, even then, uh, I still had to learn the ins and outs of the ring and the business at hand, and it was it was a tough experience for me. Anyway, here comes Cactus Jack and. Oh, come on, guys. And by that, I mean Ken Shamrock and the Big Boss, man. I mean, Edge wanted to tag out, man, and you walked away from him? Come on. Well, anyway, uh, this match is one fall to a finish, meaning whichever team gets the first pinfall or submission will win. So that's pretty much what the match is. As Edge gets sent over the top rope and onto the floor by Cactus Jack... And Cactus Jack gets out of the ring, but in the wrong part of town as Edge takes him down, but Cactus Jack got up rather quickly. Yep, Cactus Jack is in the wrong part of town, but he gets thrown into the ring. So now Edge should be alright now. A float over DDT onto Cactus Jack. I mean, if you had to make an analogy for a type of match uh, such as this, I would have to say that, you know, this is, you know, a three-on-three -three match, more or less, is a human game of chess. Because you have to know when to tag in, when to tag out, when to... Uh-oh. This is not good if you're Edge. And uh, Cactus... Oh, okay, there we go. Cactus Jack! Oh, my God! A flying elbow onto Edge, who was on that table, and Edge could be broken in half. Although I'm surprised Edge got up, but well, then again, he is 22 years old, so I'm, you know, when you're younger, you're able to recover quickly, but, you know, when you're as old as I am, I'm like 41 years old, or actually, no, no, I'm close to 41 years old, but still. Ooh, nice move by Edge. I don't think I've ever seen Edge do a move like that. Well, now he finally tags out to the big boss man, and boss man is in the ring for the first time. But of course, Cactus Jack is very tough. And, uh-oh. Well, big boss man got ran into the turnbuckle with all that force from Cactus Jack. Then he gets whipped into his own corner. Then a bulldog onto the big boss man. A neck breaker onto the big boss man. Then a DDT onto the big boss man. Now there is no time limit, so these... So this match can last as long as it needs to in order for a winner to be decided. So it is, you know, first count, first pinfall, first submission will win for their team. So that's what it comes down to. And uh, a takedown that the big boss man, he calls that takedown, the one he just did to Cactus Jack, the, an STO, which I'm not sure what it means, but if any of you fans out there know what it means, you can leave, uh, you can send me a letter and tell me what it is. Help, send me a message, I don't care. So, if you know what it's called or what it stands for, let me know. Meanwhile, Cactus Jack tags back in Mankind a double back body drop onto the big boss man. So far, uh, yeah, now, Dude Love has tagged in to this match for the first time, so he's fresh. But he was in the wrong part of town for just a moment, but whips boss man into the corner. Ooh, and a headbutt to the back of the head of big boss man. I mean, usually big boss man... I mean, his head is harder, but I guess Mick Foley's 
head is harder, or should I say, dude love. A back elbow onto the big boss man. Then a knee right to the face of the big boss man. Picks up the big boss man. And whips him over the top rope and onto the floor. And, oh, oh, oh okay, there we go. I was going to say, uh, what are you doing, dude, love? But rams him into the barricade. Let me uh, focus the camera here. There we go. All rammed into those steel steps is the big boss man. But the big boss man gets whipped back in the ring. Oh, but boss man's doing the smart thing. He's tagging in his tag team partner, uh, Ken Shamrock. So now we have Ken Shamrock and Dude Love. There we go. And Dude Love got sent over the top rope. And now he's in the wrong part of town. And he gets whipped into the barricade. I'm not sure what uh, Ken Shamrock is doing. And now all hell has broken loose. Although the referee re, uh, got the count back up to one again. Whenever you leave the ring and whenever you uh, enter the ring and leave the ring again, the, the referee has to recount the ten count. So just remember that. And now, wait a minute, what's going on here? On a spear right through the barricade from Cactus Jack. And Dude Love has to get back in the ring in order to uh, survive here. Now the question is, are they, is he going to stay in the ring and take the 10 count for the win? Oh no, wait a minute, Ken Shamrock realizes... Oh, he barely got in the ring. He was one count away from uh, losing the match for his team. But the match continues. A scoop and a slam right to Ken Shamrock. And a couple of right hands right to the face of Ken Shamrock. Oh, then an elbow drop. Oh, wait a minute. He's got the sleeper. He's got the sleeper on Dude Love. Dude Love, is he going to get out of this? Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yes, he does. I'm surprised he was able to get out of it. Because it looked as if he was going to go down, but I guess Cactus Jack, or not Cactus Jack, but uh, Dude Love probably had just enough strength to get out of it but I don't know how much more one no kick out by Ken Shamrock Ken Shamrock gets in gets a uh, neck breaker for his trouble and uh, oh, oh, oh okay uh, Ken Shamrock, fist drop onto Dude Love. Now he tags back in the big boss man. Oh now, wait a minute. The boss man has a single leg Boston Crab. He, he's got it cinched and tight onto Dude Love. But Dude Love, wow, I'm surprised he actually got out of it though. Elbow drop onto the big boss man. And 
a gut a, a gunt a gut wrench suplex that's what it's called one two wow that actually put him away well I guess the submissions might have actually weakened him just enough for the big boss man to go for the pinfall I'm surprised and now wait a minute oh come on they're all attacking mankind here come on you won the match. Have you, haven't you done enough? Come on. Seriously? Wow. Come on. I mean, Mankind... I mean, they attacked Mankind. I'm not sure what happened to the other uh, faces of Foley, but Mankind was singled out, and they attacked him. Come on. Well, then again, Dude Love was hurt, and Cactus Jack might have been taken out. I'm not sure what happened there. But, come on. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for the next match. It's going to be the title match featuring Joseph Coney, so stay tuned for that. It's up next.